These folks in the Circle City, they love their Colts, and they have packed the house tonight as we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Indianapolis Colts. Fielded in the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Naeem Hines, his first carry. They'll get three up to midfield. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain.
Four receivers now in the formation. Three to the left, one to the right on second and seven. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Play. They'll look to throw here. start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener, adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Carried out for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The last run got six, now second and four. They take him down at the 26. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. It's now third down and six. Got to throw it. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And they got him right across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Tackled well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Get 
Taylor. And he'll take this one down to the 36. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Brings up third and six. Prescott on play action. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. It's now fourth down and one. It's a 47-yard field goal try from here, but instead they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down. Now a carry from Mack. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. First and ten, Taylor now. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. Second down at five. on the field in this case it really fits doesn't it how about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. It's on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 12-yard line. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he takes this one in for the Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are on the board first here tonight. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Taken in the end zone. And no thought of a return here for Hines.
25 yard line. set to get this drive started. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They're going to look to throw. Man open, that's Henry Ruggs. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. And the Las Vegas first down. Jacobs now. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision? Finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Here's Jacobs. Able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now back to throw. Reception here by Ruggs. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 21. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. down. Hines. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of four there bringing up second down. This defense really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and 14. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he gets.
gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The pass. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. to do next. Now Lux for the field goal try. This is an easy one. 23 yarder. For the field goal. A 23 yard attempt. And Lutz puts this one through. And they are on the board but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find one to get you to the end zone, get you six? The Colts take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. First down, Prescott. Oh, in the air and now it's intercepted. Set up in the red zone right around the 17 yard line. At the 17 yard line. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. 
It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Here's Jacobs. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. At the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Running is Jacobs. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the wall. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs as the first half is winding down. And the Raiders have taken the lead. It's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Raiders 10, Colts 7. Will Lutz set to kick off. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. come to the line ready to start their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Gonna come out now and put together some nice plays. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout. As they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. For Kidder here, it's complete. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. And a fair catch signal four, and taken successfully. Offense at the line and set to go. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the 24 yard line. 
On second and 11 now. Prescott. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. At the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Taylor. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. They have three yards on first down. Just one yard there. Number 26. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. A one-yard gain. Brings up third and six. On third down, it's Prescott. Going up top. And the throw there is going to be incomplete. The passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Their own 29-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made a pass, it has it. I mean, they've, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there, and, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback and the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in a running game, and they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football. set to get this drive started. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, trying to atone for it here on this drive. Third down. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And yeah, the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the 27. Let's start a little bit deeper in their own territory. They 
run with Taylor. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Prescott. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. It's good to make it 17-7. is good. Makes the score Raiders 17, Colts 7. Will Lutz set to kick off. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line the Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive and that last possession really a gut punch you seemingly had it working you were in the midst of a very strong drive then suddenly the fumble and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction there's not much more i can add to that i thought you summarized it perfectly partner you just got to regroup and start putting another drive together that's all you can do Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 25-yard line. to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Down and nine. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at their 48-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And a well pass midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 yards there, first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 41. Prescott from the gun. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. 
Pittman. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time. And it's second down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. third down the ball carrier he's brought down at the 37 yard line it's a gain of four from the shotgun now here's an inside deal and boy he is very close to a first down but from where they're spotting that football he's going to be a foot or so short it's a six yard pickup it's still a few chain links short it appears with fourth down coming up I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run it. It's Matt. He's going to stop two for no game. That's going to take us to the end of the third quarter play. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run on first down. Taylor and he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. Again, it's Taylor. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and nine. Now Prescott. Find his man on the end round, complete. And he is going to have the Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Taylor. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Officially, it's a one yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the Raiders' 18 yard line. Play action now. Prescott rolling to his right. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the night. And the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. Raiders 17, Colts 14. Tyler Bass set to kick off. 
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no thought of a return here for Hines. At their own 25-yard line. set to get this drive started and they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one they started on the ground with Eckler and yeah, nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage Chicken down, right officially no gain on the play and it's second down brings up second and ten at the 25-yard line. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. On that last run, he's now hit the 6,000-yard mark for rushing yards in his career. And moves him squarely into the top 100 rushers of all time. In fact, he can boast that he's rushed for over 1,000 yards more than Gale Sayers did in his career. And Gale Sayers was a Hall of Famer in a short career. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. We come up here on first and ten. Counter play with Jacobs. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first timeout. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a toss to the left for Jacobs. Works his way in. 
inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here try to run for it with Jacobs and he went nowhere he'll lose yardage back to the 29 and whistles and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left so a big one coming now for Will Lutz Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And this one looks good, it is good. Right down the pipe, and they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now. They feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. At their own 25-yard line. at the line and set to go and that last touchdown drive a good mix of pass and run defensively they just looked a little out of whack and it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play so what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball yeah, right? to make a big play yeah. throw that balance out of whack that's what you're looking for now not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. On second down now, it's Taylor. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and ten at the 36-yard line. He'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. As he throws there, incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Try again from the 36 on second and 10. Press got to throw. Very quickly here, that's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Back to throw. Catch made here by Campbell. 
And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. And Prescott. Such little time remaining, and the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. Tonight's final score. So this one a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I tell you, this was a fun one.